Uh, so going into our week, building up into our next game, Tuesdays and Thursdays are our main kind of learning blocks and main training sessions. Um, so our after school sort of sessions will be around tactical implementation, um, what we need to work on from the week before and what we need to implement going into the, the week coming up. Uh, Wednesdays we kind of disperse that with some team and individual skills as well. Uh, and then again, building on from that theme of personal development, the boys are encouraged to block in uh, training sessions with myself just to work on those individual, those mini group skills. So our kickers might want to kick with me and I'll challenge them on, on accuracy and decision making. Uh, scrum halves might want to pass, so we'll challenge them about the accuracy of their pass, speed off the deck, scanning on their approach. We're trying to encourage our, our backs to be able to pass accurately over distance at speed. You know, forwards, we don't want them just big bullocking runners. We want them uh, that ability to catch, pass, run, kick, if those are the options on. So throughout the week, we're trying to build on that team understanding, team philosophy of play, but also we understand the need for those skills that allow us to play the free-throwing game of rugby that we want. Um, main aim of a captain's run this year is just to make sure everyone's up to play with what's going to happen on game day. And obviously last year we didn't do that, so that's what it's, the main aim is. Yeah, it's a new thing to the school. We want to make a bit of a tradition, really. Boys used to do it a few years ago, so we just want to bring that back, bring, make sure everyone knows what they're doing for the Saturday game, just kind of bring everyone together a bit more. Just want to refine like the tactics for the next game ahead, just so everyone's on the same page coming into the game on the day before. So we're all starting strong, nice early start. <laughs>
how does that impact your performance? How does that allow you to play within the team? Um, it doesn't just affect me, I think it affects the rest of the team as well. Like just me being quick for the breakdown allows gaps to appear and either lets me break through or the rest of the team. Okay, so we've watched some of your um, some of your gameplay from last week there. Obviously, you've scored two tries from our purple game. In fact, one of those was a scrum against the head, yep. where you've picked and gone around the back. And on the other option, we've been dominant uh, in our carries, and you've managed to pick and snipe from the base. So you've scored two tries there. How are we going to make sure that we continue to create those opportunities going into our game against uh, oh, the hospital school tomorrow? Just gain knowledge, knowing that once we're in the purple game, the gaps will appear, and that comes from me as well. Just getting speed to that breakdown, so to create the gaps and hopefully push into the orange game. And okay. Red. So we've spoken about scanning as we're arriving at yeah. the breakdown, so that you can look, and we have highlighted that our pack should be able to give us that purple yeah. game tomorrow. In addition, what else have we spoken about recently as we're arriving at the breakdown? We need to make sure we're doing to maintain that continuity. Um, clear out's got to be good, and all ball presentation to be good. Absolutely. And then from game management perspective, on yourself and Ben, what are we looking for? Just knowing when to go wide, knowing that we've got to suck them in, so we've got to earn the right to go wide sort of thing. Absolutely. Good. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm Stay in the moment, stay connected with those around you and stay connected with the score. We will go down at some point, stay in the mix. And what I mean by that is don't focus on chasing the try, focus on the process. We are process driven, process orientated. It's not because of the names we've got, it's because of the way we all bring together and we play off that same bit of paper. It's intuitive. We understand what is expected of us as an individual and as a group of individuals, we are stronger as a unit. Okay, like I said to you this morning, I said to you at lunchtime, don't buy into this bluff and bravado. Don't buy into it. This isn't what this game is about for us. It's not about spectators. It's not about parents. It's about us. In me. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
that. Look, that wasn't good looking, but I bet it feels good. Okay, sometimes you have to learn how to win games, especially when they're close. And we've spoken a lot about game management this, this week. And towards the end of that game, you managed it well. Still some mistakes, but then keep your composure, get the ball back and close it out like that. That's what we've missed, not just earlier in this season, we missed that at times last season. The composure to come out of a game at the end like that, that's what we've missed. If we can now build it, we took the purple opportunities, we built a couple of phases and we walked over the line. Excellent.